This is the story of Uncle Haji, an Iranian man who did not take his bath for more than 60 years. Curious to know why? Amu Haji was an endearing term that was used for an old man, living a very strange life on the outskirts of the Dezgah village in the southern province of Fars, Iran. He didn't have a roof over his head, but the townspeople had tried to help him by building him a brick shack from cinder blocks. He was kind of a loner, mostly keeping to himself and daily scavenging for something to eat. Instead of settling down into the shack, the old man mostly chose to live in holes made in the desert. Although few people understood this, it was where he felt most comfortable. From time to time, he would stay in a simple village house for a few days. Thereafter, he would disappear back into the desert again. This eccentric man had no known family and was dependent on the mercies of his fellow man. However, the call of the desert was very strongly entrenched in his being and would lead him back to isolation and wandering around. As men are creatures of habit, Uncle Haji had developed a few rituals and habits of his own over the years. Living in the harsh Iranian desert, he embraced a lifestyle that was very unorthodox but also very close to nature. Although water was a scarce commodity in the area, he was aware of the importance of keeping himself hydrated. Therefore, he would make sure he drank at least 5 liters of water from a rusty oil can every day. For the most part, this concluded his relationship with water. Some of us may consider smoking a nasty habit. For Amu Haji, this was one of the small pleasures of life. Not even his smoking habit was conventional. Instead of tobacco, he loved to smoke some dried cow dung. Most people smoke one cigarette at a time, but if Uncle Haji could get his hands on a pack, he would smoke multiple cigarettes at once. This was another trait of his eccentric character. When asked what your favorite meal is, you may potentially name a dish from your favorite drive through Others may mention a home-cooked meal. For this old desert hermit, it was porcupine. Even when the meat had already started to rot a little, he had a strange suspicion that the consumption of fresh food would be the very reason for him to become ill. If he could not get porcupine, any other rotten food would still suit his taste. Why would a person choose to live this kind of life completely exposed to the harsh environments of nature and having no real possessions to speak of? Some say that Amu Haji had his heart broken when he was a young man and opted to isolate himself from society for this very reason. Others spoke of emotional setbacks in his youth. Without being able to give any more context or details, whatever the reason, something quite devastating must have happened to bring this man to this unique and unconventional lifestyle. He never cared much for the conventional comforts of life and he did not collect any earthly possessions. When asked in his earlier years whether he had given up on love, he had smiled and said that he was still looking for the right woman. When people went out into the desert looking for Haji, they usually had a hard time locating him. When he sat quietly in one piece, he totally blended in with the surroundings. He became the same color as the earth and you might even mistake him for a rock. This was the place where he could be at rest and be surrounded by the silence that would bring some peace to his mind. He was a man of the earth and lived as close to it as he possibly could. Skipping a bath every now and then is something all of us have done somewhere in our lives. If you skipped one for a week, however, you would definitely be frowned upon. If it became your norm and you did not bathe or shower for a year, people would probably not want to come anywhere near you. After keeping up this habit for more than six decades, surely even the world might take note of you. It was therefore no wonder that Amo Haji became famous all around the world, bearing the title, The World's Dirtiest Man. By the looks of it, he truly deserved it. Can you even imagine what this dirty old man would look like after skipping almost a lifetime of showers or baths? Wearing an untamed beard that covered much of his face, with the rest of his body covered in soot and pus. Amo Haji was a sight for sore eyes. Nevertheless, most people felt some kind of compassion towards this desert man. The word dirty would be a total understatement to describe his clothes and his overall complexion. The deep wrinkles on his forehead and under his eyes bore testimony to daily exposure to the harsh sun and desert winds. His hands, nails and feet and every exposed part of his body were the color of night. Despite this man's unorthodox habit and lifestyle, 
it was quite surprising to learn that he lived to the ripe age of 94 years. One might have expected him to die sooner, seeing that he was exposed to the elements for long hours each day and he did not follow a very healthy diet or lifestyle, not to mention his passion for smoking. The question everybody wanted to ask would probably be, what was the cause of his death? When he passed away in October 2022, news of his death went viral as many people were intrigued by the life of uncle. Now they wanted to know what the reason was for him departing from this earth. People concerned with the welfare of another human being would almost do anything in their power to help a vulnerable person. Some of the villagers felt a profound compassion for Uncle Haji and wanted to make his life just a little better. It was for this very reason that they tried to convince this old man to take a bath in order to be healthier. For decades, all their requests fell on deaf ears. It was not until he had reached the ripe age of 94 years that he finally agreed. Everybody concerned was convinced that this event would be one of the best things that they could do for Haji, who was such an integral part of their little village. Where and how the bath took place remains a well-kept secret. One could only imagine that almost all of the village would somehow have been involved in this monumentary day when almost 60 years of dust, soot, and pus had been washed off this old and fragile body. Uncle Haji was a part of this village now and they could finally do something extraordinary for him. You may very well ask the question, what could be the true reason to avoid a bath for 60 years? Surely, there must have been a very good and legitimate motive for such a radical decision to be implemented and sustained over such a long time. Was this decision truly driven by emotional distress, carried through from his childhood years? Was love lost the reason for abstaining from a bath? You would be shocked to hear the real reason. Uncle Haji was simply terrified of soap and water and he held the belief that if he took a bath, it would make him sick. The fancy name for his condition is called hydrophobics, which simply means an extreme, exaggerated fear of water. A person not suffering from a phobia may never understand how such a condition can be so overwhelming and consuming that it can derail a person's total life. Although this is an extreme form of hydrophobics, it just goes to show how powerfully the mind can alter one's course in life. The irony of this story is that even if this cannot be proven without any doubt, Amu Haji's worst fear came true. What he was afraid of was exactly what happened to the old man. Only a few months after taking this monumental bath, he ended up falling sick and dying. At the moment, no one can explain what caused the illness that took him away. He might have just reached the end of his life, or the contact with water and soap after decades of deprivation really hurt him beyond salvation. The townspeople did not request an autopsy. And therefore, the mystery of the man who refused to bathe or shower for 65 years will remain a mystery forever. What do you think caused Uncle Haji's death? How long would you be able to go on without a bath or shower? Tell us in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.